Breaking news, breaking news, breaking news, breaking motherfucking news. This is your boy BJ back from No Filter MMA, and I'm back with another fight announcement, guys. Looks like my boy Big Marcel, Marcel Dorf, one of the best leakers on MMA Twitter, by the way. So if you haven't followed Marcel Dorf, go follow Marcel Dorf. Anyways, guys, looks like Amanda Ebus is looking to make a home and make her place. At 125 pounds. You know what I'm saying? By and you know, she went from putting on a very I'm telling you, God, when these people lose when these people that fight, you know, that Chukagan, you know, Chukagan get these fights out of nowhere. You know what I'm saying? She'll get these left field fights. You know, and the people that lose to Chukagan in these left field fights, man, they get they get put all the way down. They get put all the way down. You know what I'm saying? So she's now Amanda Ebos is now gonna have to claw her way from the bottom, like everybody else. You know, saying there's other bona fide flyweights who could have got that opportunity to fight Catlin Chukajian and Chukajian couldn't find somebody to fight. Uh huh. Anyways, but um, Amanda Ebos is going to face Tracy Cortez. You know, early prediction. You know, I mean, the way I see it going, I see Amanda Ebos just outworking Tracy Cortez. Like I said, guys, like I told you guys before, to me, Tracy Cortez is just not memorable. She doesn't really do anything. Like, there's never a moment where I'm on the edge of my seat worrying about what, you know what I'm saying, Tracy Cortez just done or, you know what I'm saying, her, you know, leaving leaving covered in blood, having somebody else's blood all over her. Like, it's just, it's never that type of fight with Tracy Cortez. She's a, to me, she's a very forgettable fighter. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, flip it over and I look at Amanda Eba, somebody who's a pressure fighter who comes forward, may not have the best striking, but she's confident in her striking. If she were to tune up her striking, she could ha- she could be a-, a dangerous striker, Amanda Ebas. She's very fast with it. She does have some pop on her punches and she knows how to strike. You know what I'm saying? Her judo is good, as we saw against um, Catlin Chukajian, and her jujitsu is good. Another thing, too, is to, um, Amanda Ebosh doesn't bow out of any fights. Like, she doesn't blink an eye at people. You know, people, some people say, well, you can say the same about, same about Tracy Cortez, but to me, it doesn't seem like Tracy Cortez is chasing anything. You know what I'm saying? For me, Amanda Ebosh, she's going from flyweight to strawweight, strawweight to flyweight, flyweight to strawweight, strawweight to flyweight. You know what I'm saying? She's chasing it. She hustling out here. These people that's jumping weight classes, they hustling out here. Jessica Andrade, hustling. Misha Tate, hustling. You know what I'm saying? Holly Holm, call it what you want to call Holly Holm, hustling. Hannah Cyphers, getting her ass beat, hustling. Amanda Ebos, hustling. Maida Brano Silva, hustling. Jocelyn Edwards, hustling. You know, that's just to name a few. You know what I'm saying? Brian Boom Kelleher, hustling. You know, these guys that, that hop these weight classes, man, it's like, yo, let's go anytime. Like, let's do it. Let's do this. I admire that. You know what I'm saying? And uh, Amanda Ebos is kill or be killed in there. You know what I'm saying? She's either going after you or somebody's trying to kill. You have to do what Marina Rodriguez did against her. You know what I'm saying? Knock her out twice in the same fight. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, how, that's, that's the approach you have to take with Amanda Ebos because I don't see... Tracy Cortez outbodying Amanda Ebos, and I don't see Tracy Cortez submitting Amanda Ebos. You know what I'm saying? Maybe, you know, if she tuned up her striking, she could outstrike Ebos. You know what I'm saying? But early prediction, I'm looking at Ebos to take this fight 30 27 or a finish in the second round via submission. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm looking at Ebos to 30 27 Tracy Cortez. You know what I'm saying? Like, my opinion may change. I mean, I may, maybe I need to go back and watch some more footage on Tracy Cortez, but. From what I've seen from Trace Cortez, especially in that last fight, mm, mm, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm just not feeling it. But anyways, guys, y'all let me know how you feel about Tracy Cortez versus Amanda Ebos being booked December 3rd. Flyweight is going down. This is your boy BJ back from No Filter MMA. Drop those comments in the comment section. Hit that like, hit that dislike, and if you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And your boy is out.